We often associate the Middle Ages with monks and monasteries, and this is with good reason. Monasteries were at the heart of medieval life and culture. In the Middle Ages, Chertsey was home to one of the largest religious powerhouses in Britain, Chertsey Abbey. The abbey was founded in 666 by St Erkenwald, who became its first abbot. It was dedicated to St Peter, and its monks belonged to the Benedictine order. The lives of the monks revolved around a daily cycle of work and prayer. They'd renounce all their worldly possessions and relationships so they could truly devote themselves to God. During the 9th century, Chertsey Abbey came under threat with a series of Viking raids. During an attack on the abbey in around 871, 90 monks, the abbot and the priest were murdered. The abbey was burnt down and its lands destroyed. Thirteen monks from the convent at Abingdon were eventually sent to repopulate the site, but in 964 King Edgar drove them out and established a new community there. After this, life at Chertsey Abbey seemed to settle down. The abbey grew prosperous and expanded its lands and borders. A charter granted by Edward the Confessor shows that the abbey owned the nearby towns of Egham, Thorpe and Chobham, as well as White Waltham in Berkshire and 20 acres of pasture land in Cookham. By the time of the Norman Conquest, the abbey owned a huge amount of land, which was recorded in the Doomsday Survey of 1086 but the Abbey's position as a powerful landholder could cause conflict with tenants. This petition, from 1377 to 8, shows how the local people refused to give the Abbot the money and labour services he asked for. They resisted and menaced with staves and other weapons, threatening to burn down the Abbey and kill the monks. A few years later, in the summer of 1381, Chertsey Abbey was once again attacked. This time, Important documents such as court rolls were destroyed as local people rebelled against the poll taxes and labour requirements in the Great Revolt. But it wasn't all bad news for the Abbey. By the 14th century, Chertsey Abbey was the fifth largest monastery in the country. It was richly decorated, as we can see from these surviving tiles, which are some of the best examples of medieval tiles in the country. The Abbey remained so important that it was the burial place for King Henry VI in 1471, before his body was later moved to St George's Chapel in Windsor in 1484. Not much of the Abbey's Lady Chapel survives to the present day. Some medieval graves survive, but while the King's body was here, the Abbey was an important site of pilgrimage. The later Middle Ages are often seen as a period of decline and decay for the English monasteries, but the evidence from Chertsey Abbey shows us this wasn't the case. Until the 1530s, Chertsey Abbey remained at the centre of the community. It was a place of learning, religion and charity, stimulating the local economy and making Chertsey an important town on the national stage. <laughs>